Hi, I'm Matt Gordon, and this is Getting Started with MicRim OS. Today, we begin discussing the services that MicRim OS provides to your application that allow tasks to interact with each other. The discussion in today's episode will fill in some of the gaps left by our previous episodes and it will help you prepare to truly leverage the multitasking capabilities that kernels provide. It's seldom the case that every task in a kernel-based application is self-contained. Most of the time, you need your application's tasks to interact with each other and with interrupt handlers. The kernel services that we'll discuss today and for the rest of this series facilitate such interaction. The types of interaction provided by the kernel vary substantially from one service to another, but the ultimate objective is the same in every case. These services help you write robust kernel-based applications that amount to more than just a collection of independent tasks running on one CPU. The primary service offered by any kernel is task management. In the first half of this series, we saw how tasks are created and how the kernel schedules them. We learned that MicRim OS uses a preemptive scheduling algorithm. This means that the kernel always runs the highest priority tasks it is ready to run. And it does so even if that means taking control of the CPU from another task following the occurrence of an interrupt. We also saw that the kernel supports round-robin scheduling, but it performs this type of scheduling only when it has been explicitly instructed to do so by your application. There are three kinds of services that augment the task management capabilities in MicRoom OS. Synchronization, resource protection, and intertask communication. Let's briefly define each of these. First, synchronization provides a means of coordinating the work performed by your application's tasks. Second, resource protection helps your tasks avoid conflicts over variables, data structures, and other shared resources. And third, intertask communication allows your application to send data from one task to another. Over the next few episodes, we'll discuss these services in a general sense, and we'll see how they take shape in MicRim OS. To prepare you to begin writing your own MicRim OS-based applications, we'll even take a look at a few example pieces of pseudocode that make use of these services. Let's start with synchronization services, which are a way of coordinating the work of your application's tasks. Using these services, you might synchronize one task with another or a task with an ISR. The two pieces of code could then work together to achieve a particular objective. That may sound fairly abstract, so let's think about a specific scenario where synchronization would be useful. The foreground background system shown here is a good example. In this system, the responsibility for processing incoming characters from a UART is shared by the foreground and background functions. The foreground function, or interrupt handler, is UART ISR, and the background function is UART read. As the code indicates, UART ISR increments a flag variable each time a new UART character is received, but all other work involved in receiving characters is offloaded to UART read. The first thing this function does is check the value of the flag that may have been incremented by the interrupt handler. If the flag is non-zero, this means a character is available. So UART read decrements the flag and processes that character. This simple approach accomplishes the goal of reading UART characters. It also keeps the bulk of the UART code outside of the ISR. In this example, the code offloaded from the handler is quite compact. But in a real-world application, the job of processing incoming data could certainly require a much larger amount of code, and that would be ill-suited for inclusion in an interrupt handler. Where this approach falls short is in responsiveness. UART read will not always run immediately after UART ISR. In fact, the lag between the two functions could be as high as the execution time of the entire background loop. Synchronization services are an improvement on this scheme. Their key advantage over a simple flag variable is that they leverage the kernel's multitasking capabilities. A version of UART ISR that was based on synchronization services could make a UART task ready to run immediately upon reception of a character. In other words, synchronization services allow your application to respond rapidly to important events. At the same time, they allow you to keep the vast majority of your code in tasks, not in ISRs. To sum up what we covered today, the MicRim OS kernel provides services that enable the tasks in your application to interact with each other. These include synchronization, resource protection, and intertask communication. Synchronization allows tasks and ISRs, or combinations of just tasks, to work collaboratively toward a common objective. In our next episode, we'll look at a specific synchronization object called a semaphore. See you next time.